I see someone's boat. Hello, family and friends. It's Rob the Sapper Gardener representing Essiance Family Garden. And I'm sitting here on our back deck and I am collecting some seeds. These are uh, radish seeds and then I will put the variety down below. I can't remember right offhand, but we'll save these and then we'll put them in the bag. And this is pretty simple. When you get a mature radish plant that's been uh, pollinated, uh, it creates a seed pod, uh, just like a pea pod. And you just uh, pop it open. If I can, oops. And when you pop it open, the radish seeds are, not that, the radish seeds are inside. And uh, each pod has probably a half dozen or so seeds in it, maybe six, seven seeds. And uh, we just pop them in a, paper bag we dry them in our garage and it is important to make sure your pods are dry when you open them up and um, it's almost like our kale seed saving video which I'll post right here uh, if your pods are dry you can just open them up and get the seeds if they're not quite dry just cut the stems off set them someplace uh, dry and warm and let them uh, naturally dry themselves the moisture in the pods will allow them to continue to go for a little bit and when the moisture is gone the seeds hopefully will be ready but in the garden a lot of things gardeners know it's a test of faith or a leap of faith you hope that you're going to get some plants but you don't know if you're going to be successful until you plant them so we collected and by we I mean Mrs. SG and my Sun, SK1, we collect a huge bag of cilantro seeds. And for these, we, if my bag doesn't blow away, for these, Mrs. SG just ripped up the entire plants. We put them in a large paper bag, which I will try to show you without dropping the seed pods. She just put the cilantro plants in a grocery store size bag. It was completely dry and SK-1 just shook them and pulled the seeds, pods came out. And we have literally hundreds if not thousands of cilantro seeds. So we'll dry these in the garage also for a week or so. Try to make sure we have no bugs in with our seeds. And then we will transfer them into our seed saving bags and put them down in the sapper cave to use again either in the fall on shop B. My garden helper, Mr. B, it's like the buzzer sometimes. And uh, these, I can't remember the name, but I remember these were a larger uh, radish. Uh, these may be daikon, but I'm not going to misspeak once I check the tag and check our little map we keep on the computer. Uh, we'll probably have these for dinner. We had two plants and we uh, literally got hundreds of seed pods and we'll get probably a thousand seeds out of these. And we actually have more that we're going to let dry out, if you can see it down there maybe you can't yep we'll let that dry in the sun today and tomorrow and hopefully not get rain and then we may collect more we probably don't need all these but it's better to have too many seeds than not enough so here yeah, it's a hot day it's supposed to be a uh, hundred degrees and a hundred plus with the humidity the heat index so we're gonna try to work a little sit in the shade a little work a little sit in the shade a little have some fun time with mr. roadblocks over there <laughs> so just a quick video on how we are saving seeds so we can hopefully become as uh, self-sustaining as possible here at our homestead so Real quick video 
I got to get out there and pull some more weeds and tend to some plants and watch these young men grow up and to productive members of society. So, as always, this is Rob, the Sapper Gardener, representing Estiana's Family Garden, saying, God bless our great country, America. You, wherever you reside around the world, your garden, your harvest, your kitchen, your meals, and especially your family have health, success, and prosperity, and uh, enjoy their roadblocks time if they like playing roadblocks. Take care. Sapper out. <music>